Welcome to the channel. Today I want to tell you about the film, The Martian. Watch out for spoilers. The film begins by showing us Mars, a lifeless and barren planet. We're then shown astronauts collecting soil samples. The astronauts talk and joke around while they do their job. Information comes in that a massive storm is approaching. There is a very high risk that the ship may crash and the commander decides to evacuate to the space station. The astronauts leave the base where the storm has already begun. With difficulty they make their way to the shuttle, and protagonist Mark Watney lags behind the group. The wind breaks the antenna, which knocks Mark down and his spacesuit is damaged. The roll of the shuttle increases and there is little time left. The astronauts walk towards the ship and the commander decides to continue the search for Mark. The roll becomes very strong and the commander returns to the shuttle. The shuttle takes off, leaving Mark on Mars. The head of NASA talks about the tragic loss of astronaut Mark Watney. Meanwhile, there is a storm on Mars and Mark turns out to still be alive. Oxygen levels are very critical. Mark is able to survive thanks to the caked blood, which has stopped the loss of air from his spacesuit. With difficulty, Mark makes his way to the base. He removes his spacesuit and pulls a bayonet out of his stomach. He then performs surgery on himself, pulling shrapnel from his body. Mark turns on the tape and says he'll be taking notes in case he doesn't survive. He says the whole world will be surprised that he survived, as well as all the difficulties he will face. Outside, the sandstorm comes again and Mark packs up the things his team left behind. The 21 Sol begins, Mark counts up how much food supplies he has. On the record he says he has enough food for 400 souls, but he needs to grow food for three years somehow. Mark is a botanist and so decides to plant potatoes. He arranges for the premises to be used as a farm. Mark takes the Martian soil inside the base. On 31 Sol, he starts planting potatoes using human waste for fertilizer. Mark ponders how he can get enough water. He decides to ignite hydrogen to get plenty of water. Mark is delighted that it has worked, but seconds later there is an explosion. The second time, having already prepared, Mark succeeds and moisture appears inside the farm. At 54 Sol Mark sees sprouts sprouting in the soil. Meanwhile, Mark Watney's funeral is taking place on the ground. The director of NASA is visited by the head of the Ares program. He wants to send a new expedition to Mars, but the director is reluctant because of Mark's death. A NASA employee checks the coordinates where she sees that the Mars rover's position has changed near the base. The director and program manager Ares see that Mark Watney is alive. The director says it's best not to report him alive to his team members who are going home now. The NASA director announces that Mark Watney turns out to be alive. Mark calculates the distance to the next Ares expedition destination in four years. Mark needs to prepare for the journey to the crater where the expedition will land. The journey on the rover will take 50 days and so a number of problems that he may encounter must be solved. Mark sets out on the rover to find out how far it will go without using a heater, as the heater will use half the power of the rover. Mark decides to use a box containing a radioactive isotope for the heater, which can obviously be very dangerous if it gets damaged. The problem of heat inside the rover is now solved. Program manager Ares tells reporters what Mark is doing on Mars. NASA staff decide on the possibility of delivering cargo to Mars. The NASA director talks about the need to build a shuttle in three months that will deliver the cargo, which is extremely difficult. Meanwhile, the potatoes have grown and Mark is harvesting. Mark needs a way to contact NASA and has found a way. Venkat doesn't understand where Mark has gone, but then he calculates the distance on a map and tells Mindy that he needs to get on a plane. Mark gets to the location and digs up the machine that was launched back in 1997 and communication with which has been lost. Mark brings the machine to the base and turns it on. Meanwhile, Venkat and the team that sent the craft connect a copy of the craft from Mars. Mark puts the question and answer plates in front of the camera. And the team from the ground directs the camera to answer. 
Mark ponders how to conduct a complex negotiation using only a camera that can rotate. He decides to use a 16-digit code system, and the people on the ground do the same thing. Mark records the numbers and translates them into a question received from the ground. Mark sends them the answer. Instructions are sent from Earth on how to connect the machine to the rover, making communication easier. Venkit informs Mark that everyone knows he is alive and is preparing a rescue mission, and Mark replies that he is glad to hear and prepares not to die. He also asks how his crew reacted when they found out he was alive. Venkit replies that they decided not to inform the crew just yet. Mark is very angry and sends an angry reply with bad words. Meanwhile, the crew heads to Earth on the Hermes ship. The crew receives a video message from a NASA employee. He tells them that Mark Watney is alive. The crew commander blames himself for leaving him on Mars. Establishing communications allowed Mark to receive letters from Earth and he is also declared the colonizer of Mars. The apparatus takes a picture of Mark for publication on Earth. At night Mark goes inside the base but there is a depressurization and a pressure explosion. Mark's spacesuit is depressurized and he manages to seal it with duct tape. He heads towards the base. The entire potato farm is destroyed by the depressurization. Mark takes intact spacesuits into the Mars rover. Mark is very angry about what happened. On the ground they already know Mark's tragedy and now need to start launching the cargo rocket even earlier as Mark is left with less food supplies than planned. The crew talks to Mark and they regret leaving him behind. They joke around and Mark says that unfortunately all of Commander Lewis' music survived because of the explosion. Mark does some cleaning inside the base and decides to tape up the hole in the base. Mark checks the system and the pressure inside is restored. Mark counts how much food supply he has left. Meanwhile, astrodynamicist Rich has to calculate the shortest trajectory for a cargo rocket to Mars and has an idea. It is necessary to reduce the preparation time of the rocket and so it has been decided to cancel the inspection and testing of the rocket. Mark has to save a lot on food in order to survive until the rocket arrives. Meanwhile, on the ground, the rocket is being prepared for launch. The rocket begins to launch and takes off. At first everything goes right, but then there is a deflection and the rocket explodes. Mark is desperate and ready to die on Mars. The director of the Chinese space program decides to offer his own carrier to launch the cargo rocket. Rich comes to Venkat to talk about his trajectory calculations. Rich tells NASA's superiors that it is possible to accelerate Hermes and pick up a rocket carrying a payload near Earth. Hermes will then travel to Mars to pick up Mark. The question arises as to whether it is worth risking the loss of the entire Hermes crew to save Mark, but the director abandons the plan. An encrypted message arrives on Hermes with a change of course. The crew decides whether to go after Mark, as there is a risk and the flight time will increase by two years. In the end, the crew agrees unanimously. On land, they learn that Hermes has changed course. Mark has a new plan, it is necessary to get to the takeoff module, which is already on Mars, with the help of which he will get to Hermes to orbit Mars. Mark prepares the rover for the journey to the takeoff module, while on the ground they prepare a cargo rocket. Mark repeats all the actions for the rover that are repeated on the ground. The Hermes crew says goodbye to their families and the Chinese rocket takes off for Earth orbit and docks with Hermes. Seven months later, Mark prepares the Mars rover for its journey and completes its final entry. Finally, Mark sets off on his journey. The rover travels across the vastness of Mars. Mark reflects on the fact that wherever he steps he is the first person there. A vast wasteland and a lonely rover are shown around. Bruce explains that the takeoff module needs to be made much lighter in order to reach Hermes' orbit. Almost everything inside needs to be removed and even the nose of the ship needs to be removed. Mark gets to the takeoff module and he doesn't like the fact that he has to fly in an open and empty module that isn't even controlled. Mark goes inside the module and starts cleaning up everything else in it, including the nose of the ship. Meanwhile, Hermes is approaching Mars and they prepare to take Mark out of orbit. Mark eats the lunch left over for his farewell to Mars and heads off to the takeoff module. 
There are plenty of people on the ground watching to see if they can pick up Mark Watney. Mark shaves off excess hair in preparation for takeoff and then puts on his spacesuit. Hermes approaches and the takeoff module prepares to take off. The module takes off, gaining tremendous speed, and then enters orbit. Mark faints due to overload. Hermes prepares to intercept the module, but the speed is very high. The crew has half an hour to reduce speed. Mark wakes up and everyone rejoices. Mark offers to puncture his spacesuit to fly up with air. The commander suggests blowing the airlock to fly up to Mark's module. A crew member prepares a bomb to detonate. The bomb is placed inside the airlock. The distance is still very long and Lewis decides to personally go into space with a tether. The bomb explodes and Hermes slows down. Lewis heads for the module, but the cable is missing. Mark punctures his glove and flies towards Lewis. Mark almost grabs Lewis but doesn't make it in time and struggles to hold on to the rope and ends up grabbing Lewis. The crew and everyone on the ground rejoice that Mark Watney is saved. Mark is back on the ground and sitting on the bench watching the young astronauts. Mark now gives lectures on how he survived on Mars. That's where The Martian ends. A very interesting film about an astronaut left behind on Mars trying to survive and return home. See you all soon and all the best.